Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I am going to do part 5, which is this part here, this pizza uh, picture here. And this page is taken from uh, Minorizer the Europa by Rita Berman. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to zoom you in. Yeah, And I'm going to uh, cover up this page so that the camera would not focus on that page yeah so i am going to use uh sand the color sand pc940 as the base of the pizza i like this uh color sand it's um Kind of uh, very natural color for bread sort of things, you know, wheat uh, base uh, food stuff. The tone is just right, very bread like bread. <laughs> yeah, so. What are these bits here? Spices. I'm going to sorry the piece of um, kitchen roll on my hand under my hand. Yeah, and I'm going to use um, golden rod first for the shadow beads. And I'm going to use um, this light umber to create more depth. And light umber at the bottom as well. Shadow bits here. And probably I'm just going to use a beige as the a cream as the background.
I'm going to use a sepia to give it a bit more um, shadow behind this uh, pizza here. sand to plug it in. Yeah, and just blend it in again with um, cream. And now we go on to the uh, tomato. I'm using poppy red. I'm going to very lightly colour this in first and I'm going to darken it a little bit uh, by using pumpkin orange. It's supposed to be burnt, isn't it? Baked. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit brittle and uh, a bit of scarlet lake. And the um, basil, I would say, uh, I would use uh, kelp green basil. Basil, rosemary.
and I would use a dark green. Uh, then again, it's like a uh, big to big, so uh, there would be a bit of a line peel here and there. And um, this green ochre. Pizza is baked. And all these bits here are somewhat um, like hoops. So they're green ochre. light umber again just at the bottom of this um, um, tomato sort of just give it a little bit more shadow because there are sting on it and it's uh, burnt I mean not burnt baked um, Yeah, and maybe I would just add a little bit of um, poppy red uh, here and the, uh, you know, um, tomato sauce. Yeah, make it give it a little bit more natural look, tomato sauce. <laughs> um, it's um, pumpkin orange, turns turns a bit brownish now. Oxidize. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. So now I'm gonna uh, get my um, pink um, glitter paint. This one. I'm going to um, color in the hearts. So I'll see you in the next clip. So I'm using a shiny shell pink from the Art Spirit for the hearts now. So I've actually uh, prepared this. So I'm gonna do. It color in the hearts with that um, paint <laughs> my jar of water yeah there we go put my brush aside kept my jar put this aside and yeah so this is how it's going to look like uh yeah so i'm going to how zoom you in no just carry you carry this book up a little bit yeah so there you have it i have done uh, zoom you out um so water so I've done one, two, three, four, five. So the next one probably I'm not sure yet. Uh which one? I think you can see the glitter, it's not dry. Yeah, there you go. It looks I like it. The colour is very pretty. So maybe in the next one I'll do mm, the flower or not sure yet. I'll think about it. So till then, take care and happy colouring. Bye.